Good morning. Welcome to Inside the Rav. You know, I was thinking about the words of Christ on the cross when he said, It is finished. And as we're working with these young men and these young ladies, and, and don't worry, I'm not driving. As these young men and these young ladies, and uh, when they get released, many times they've come and said, wouldn't have made it without you guys being here. Expressing appreciation for the fact that we were in their lives during the time they were there. But My heart just wants to be able to say those words to them. It is finished. And that they're done with the system. But too many times we see those same kids again. That there's more. There's a, a deeper understanding. There's a place where God yet desires to take them. And we know that as Joseph went from the pit... He went to be a slave, to prison, and then finally to the palace. Each of those steps led him to the place where God wanted. And it's hard to be um, to see these kids in the situation and not be able to say it's done. But God's will in their life, God's plan for their lives, what God is doing in them as, as he begins to work in their lives is, is way beyond anything that we could possibly begin to sculpt and write out and script for ourselves. And uh, we just want to continue to go in and encourage these young people and make a difference for the day, make a difference for the time that they're in, and then make a difference in their lives as we introduce God to them and introduce the love of Jesus, which is given so freely to all who will call upon his name. And as I tell the kids all the time, you know, it, we don't just wave a magic wand and everything is is better. Uh, that sometimes the trials and the tribulations that we have in life will continue, even as we follow and trust in Him completely. So, just wanted to share that word with you this morning, thinking about those who have um, appreciated so much the work that we do and have spoken that they really enjoy uh, us coming in and encouraging them and recognize that our presence from Crosswalk's presence in, in the facilities. And, and just a little shout out to Brownwood. Uh, we were there last summer and Jarrett, my son, went to, to Brownwood uh, with a group from Abilene Christian and, and they were still talking about the performance this summer, still remembered the, the people that were involved and the team that went this summer and the message. So this is uh, Bill from Inside the Rav. Uh, we'll talk to you next time.